Speaking of Allen Houston, Look at that. Guess who's here? Uh, right here joining <laughs> us on the MSG PM, Knicks legend. Good to have you here. Let's talk about Fissel. Uh, yeah. Tell me the initial, what the initials stand for, what it, yeah. why it started, and what inspired you to kind of bring it together. Well, Fizzle, first of all, it's, an, first of all, it's, it's great to be here. Like, it's <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm finally, in the, I'm finally here, man. I was like waiting for the call. Like, I got the call up. Um, now, Fizzle is an acronym. Yeah. Faith, Integrity, Sacrifice, Leadership, and Legacy. And it started, you know, I played for my father at the University of Tennessee, mm -hmm. first black coach in Southeastern Conference history. And I learned from that experience that that relationship is so important, right, between a father, a coach, a mentor, and we wanted to just share the principles that he gave me mm -hmm. and uh, just prepare young people for success. And, you know, it's almost like when John Wooden had his high post or, you know, these, this, the system of thinking, mm -hmm. right, I think is important for, for young people, especially now, uh, to help their inner growth and strength. And so um, that's where it started. And then, you know, years ago, I was able to take it from a program to, to a brand. Um, and so now we have partnerships with the NBA, uh, Major League Baseball. We have 40 colleges that we're making apparel and design for. And so this idea was just something that came out of a thought, a dream. And that's the things that we got a chance to share with, with Tracy and the young people is that there's something inside you. You just have to compartmentalize it and plan it out and give it some thought and structure. And you need someone to help you. Like, you know, the, the thing that we want them to understand is you everybody needs a coach mm -hmm. right everybody needs someone to kind of push them and mm -hmm. that coach is going to give you something to propel you forward and and so but you need to hang on to that mm -hmm. definitely definitely now that the MSG classroom that we just saw a snippet of seemed like yeah. a really engaged and captivated audience what was your takeaway from that interaction Tracy's always great because he's so passionate. Um, the MSG classroom is fun. During COVID, I was able to kind of engage with them because virtual mm -hmm. meetings allows you to kind of share your story, hear their stories, bring on other influential people. But we just wanted to continue that process. So, you know, when, you, when you're with young people, our, all of our attention spans are shorter, <laughs> yeah. right? That's very so true. It's like So it's like all of us. So you have to have things that are engaging, conversations. So I, I like to just ask a lot of questions, mm -hmm. right? So the questions we ask help them really think internally. Um, and so it was really just a segment where we just have dialogue, but let's guide the dialogue a little bit and teach them like, it's all about impact, right? How do you really want to make an impact? Like you ask a player, how do you really want to impact winning? Right, it may right. not be how you think it is, mm -hmm. but winning is not just on in sports, it's in life. So. It's really having them think about things they already want to do and mm. have in their mind, but it's, it's the tools and strategies you need to do it. You know, Tracy Morgan's so full of life, right? Like, we see him at the Garden. If you're uptown, you might see his Ferrari drumming up and down the yeah. city. He's still out here. But people forget what he went through physically yeah, with man. that accident. Mm -hmm. And we spoke a little bit about it on the, uh, on, on the priest that we just saw. So talk to me about how you got Tracy Morgan involved and just, <laughs> you know, his sort of, like, inspiring story and how it related to those kids that we just talked to. Well, Tracy, like, was, has always been an authentic fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, he tells people, I used to have to go up in the second row, I mean, second in the rafters, and now I'm in the front row, but, but he, he paid his dues, right? Yeah. He, and, and literally, like, so we did a podcast, and, and he spoke into my daughter, and he spoke into my son, and he's so passionate. So whenever you hear him, you know it's coming from, like, a place that's deeper and higher than, than him. So... He's like a vessel, so he's so passionate, and he combines, you know, his comedy yeah. with his passion. Um, but like you said, his testimony is so powerful. Mm. Like, he, he shouldn't, he, he tells people, I mean, I shouldn't even be here. Woo. So now, like, everything he does is just an extra ounce of, of life. And so, um, you know, he's, he's, he's just always down for, for whatever. He doesn't even think about himself. And I think he is fizzle, like he is those principles embodied, right? And uh, I just think it was, it was great for him to share that and to be, be who he is. Definitely. I, I think yeah. the guy you see on screen, and even sometimes when he's at the garden, you still see him from a screen sort of lens. I won't say performing in a negative way, but he's yeah. on. He's right. a public yeah. figure. Right. There's a sense of being on. And that felt like a much more 
candid, sort of off camera. Although the two definitely have yeah. symmetry, yeah. it just felt like you were getting a different version of Tracy. Yeah, he, and he, you know, we, I was fortunate enough to see him get the uh, Friars Club, the Icon Award. Mm. And the thing about him is you could see, like, how professional he is, mm -hmm. right? It's not like he's, he's, he's thought it out in his program, but he also knows how to draw that line between I'm a professional um, but I'm real, and, yeah. and people don't realize how much work it takes, even to do what you all do, right? It's, yeah. it's a lot of work uh, to do what, you know, he does, what we do, and I think that's what he, he's able to kind of articulate really well. You know, earlier you spoke about, uh, you know, playing for your father, first yeah. black coach in the Southeast of the Conference, and how that inspired you to eventually uh, start Fizzle. Yeah. So tell me, what's the ultimate goal for you when it comes to creating this? Uh, well, uh, first, what have y'all accomplished? Because we, I was a part <laughs> of a movie yeah. career that y'all did. That yeah. was super cool. Yeah. yeah. So we, basically, my whole thing is like, again, how do these principles live? Where do they live? Like the one thing you want people to do is define your values, right? And just live by them. So I think the, the fashion and the technology, we have a 30 minute short film called Coachable. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an app where we allow these young, the, the people to engage with, either, with each other to kind of have some positive form of communication and social media. Um, but the ultimate goal is really to help these young people live better, perform better, and lead better. Like make a big impact and do it in a tangible way. So if you want to kind of learn from us about how to start your, build your own brand, um, we're on 40 college campuses, start starting the clubs, social impact clubs on campuses, um, and really just continue to build out the network so that young people can know how to plug into these values and, and just be better for society and for yourself. Mm, I love that. All right. Um, Fizzle's great, and we want those principles to show <laughs> forth or shine through in this year's Knicks squad. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's about and the that is the trend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what you thinking yeah. as you look ahead to the 2022-23 season? I mean, we obviously... I mean, I, I could weave Fizzle into it because, like... You, that, go ahead. Come on. Well... Branding. The first thing... The, <laughs> no, the first thing is, like, when you start a season, you got to really believe, right, for sure. In something bigger than yourself. For and I sure. think the thing that, that we saw last year is how can we stay connected to each other mm -hmm. um, through the good and bad times and, and get through those. And I think the one thing that everybody has done is they worked their butt off all summer. Mm -hmm. Like everybody has worked and worked. And what I'm seeing in, the sec in, 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 in training camp and going moving forward is that you can see you know, guys are shooting the ball better. They're in shape, right? Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're in, in a good connective place, right? But you still, ha you still know in New York that you're going to hit some obstacles. So it's, it's like, how do we prepare for those moments, um, get ahead of them? I think one of the goals that everybody's talking about is let's, let's play better at home, mm. right? Let's have a good home record. Let's, um, I think Jalen's going to help. Um, because he brings some stability, right? And I remember being a free agent and people were like, what kind of personality does this person have? And when you have a kind of a stable personality, it bodes well here. And I think he has a strong enough personality. Um, RJ's, he's just gonna keep getting better. He's another step. Gonna keep getting one. better, <laughs> yeah. right? right. Um, I think Jules is, Julius is in, in good spirits. I think um, I'm excited for him because there's like this balance between in a good mental place, but playing with a chip, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. There's, a, there's a balance there that he's going to have. Um, I'm excited about it, you know, everybody. I mean, Mitch, Mitch is, 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 is making his mark so far, you know, and he likes the challenge, mm -hmm. you know, that's been put on him. I think everybody feels like, you know, don't, don't challenge me like that. Because right. this is New York. We're going we're gonna to come out with a certain energy. Um, They've heard the chatter all season. They've heard the chatter from a lot yeah. of people. You know, it's, sometimes it's good to hear that chatter to, because they need that sort of inspiration. Well, I think you know, t like Tibbs is always going to help you be prepared. Mm. And <laughs> thing is, that's like, a nice way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. But that's and so it's up to you as a player to say, okay, how do I take that preparation and execute it on a consistent basis? And do and and have all the little nuances that that you need as a team to stay connected, 
And I think that's what, what, what we need. All right. Um, you know, I don't ever want to hear you say you finally made it to this chair. You can come here whenever you want. <laughs> You're always welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Knicks legend yeah. Alan Houston, thanks for coming to MSGPN. Thank thanks for having me.